Santa got caught by Donna, y'all. He done got caught slipping by Donna. I said, one thing you can expect on any show is for these folks to get caught. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chesity for Tyler Perry's The Oval, Season 5, Episode 10. Okay, so look here. I said, Donald teleported, ain't it? Then Alan. Now, Alan, you must don't know who you're dealing with. Now, you got all this evidence on these folks. So you should know what they're capable of. You going to sit up here and talk on the dog on cell phone like they ain't, can't trace your calls, like they ain't watching you. They ain't going to tell Dale to uh, the, the agent's supposed to be coming and get the box or whatever. And <laughs> so I said he's not going to come back there. Dale was trying to tell him. And on the trailer for next week's episode, he's there. Cal's there. I said, mm-hmm, Dale better watch your back. You better you work your charm, your charm or something. <laughs> I said, Dale going to be out of there. Kareem, foolish tale. Okay, y'all, so on this episode, Victoria was telling Donald that Jason called. I said, she over here panicking and scared and acting all worried and all this stuff. Tell my son, he'll go to the press, he'll go to the press and all this stuff. And then Donald was talking about, I didn't write this part down. Donald said something about um, he would have to burn himself, so he's not going to do that. So Victoria was like, yes, he would, he would do that. Then they traced his call. It was what they said, eight miles. So he nearby. I said, this man crazy. I feel like he going to go back to the uh, the Rakadoosh place. I feel like he going to go back. So Donna w- was telling one of the uh, peoples to look up her call log, and she told my son, only within this hour, only within this hour. I said, why did she do that? If it was about, you know, Eli, because they be talking on the phone a lot, the whole White House know y'all messing around now. I said, the whole White House know that y'all messing around. It's no longer a secret. Y'all ain't as discreet as y'all should have been. I say, I about to say want to be. But yeah, I was like the whole White House over here gossiping about y'all little situation. It's obvious at this point. How you go from hating this man or whatever, not wanting to be around him and all this stuff, you, all this noise you don't talk. Because if you remember, they was threatening these folks' kids. I mean, Hunter, Hunter, and I think Hunter knows now. I think Hunter knows now. But yeah, how you go from that to sitting up here, to sitting up here, um, Every time you turn around, you got to go see him. And I said, that's crazy anyways, because I, y'all know I keep talking about this. Because, like, I understand that Hunter's still the president and everything. But if he out of the uh, White he ain't out of the White House, but, you know, because he's sick. <coughs> sick. <laughs> sick, full of that stuff. <laughs> I said, I thought that Simone, then Simone, that's another thing. The trailer. I told y'all when they showed the season five trailer, I knew I seen uh, Priscilla on the couch talking to Simone. But, yeah, she talking to her next week to my son. Uh, she working with the FBI. I said, you fool. I said, hopefully Priscilla don't slip up and say, oh, I'm working with Because, remember, they she, they were supposed to be working with the uh, CIA, if I'm not mistaken. And I said, they're going to both get caught. Because if they get a hold of Simone, y'all already know. She going to tell everything. She going to be like, yeah, Priscilla and Richard, they're working with the CIA. And they going to be out of there. <laughs> they going to be out of there. But um, I had wrote down, Sam better watch himself. He better watch himself. But I don't know. I don't know why I wrote that part down yet. I don't know if that was because he was uh he was uh going to the White House and I don't know I don't know if they was talking about I know now. I know now. Uh Victoria now. They started talking about Sam as Cal brought up how, you know, once he accesses the call log and everything that uh Sam was gonna be alerted because, you know, he in charge of all the he in charge, he the head leader or whatever it's called. <laughs> so uh, they were saying they ain't worried about it. Then, Victoria started talking about son. He really starting to get under her skin. I thought she was talking about Jason. And then Donald was like, I heard he's gotten under your skin and all that. I was like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Sam better watch out. That's why I wrote it down. Nancy done showed up to the White House. These people, they do what they want. I said, is this accurate? Because uh, ain't no way you could just show up to the White House whenever you get ready. Because wouldn't they view that? I don't know. I don't know how it worked. But I thought you would think. That they wouldn't just let anybody in and out. That's like uh, season one of the over when they brought Barry there. I forgot why they brought Barry there or whatever. And I said, is that allowed? I said, how they allowed? You ain't supposed to be doing that. You never know what these people's intentions are. But yeah, she done showed up talking about she going to talk to him. And she's not going to leave. She's going to wait and everything. I said, I had seen a, a spoiler picture that shows Sam with the cover on his head. I said, he going to realize that ain't him. Because uh, that's the first thing I said. I said, he's short. I said, you can't tell that he's shorter than the dude that left up out of here. But, yeah, he going to tell this man to take the comforter and put it over him. Then, I said, he childish. He going to tell him to say boo. <laughs> so, I said, say some boo. Look, they be writing stuff in there to be space pillars, y'all. So he like turn around, told him spin around, walk outside, come back in, and he's like start making cracks about he, him being short. To my senior height, um, basically it came and used or whatever, and it saved you and everything. 
And I said, not him being mad. I said, look, was he just trying to rule out that it was Eli or what? He finally started to put two and two together. Because I was like, okay, why wouldn't you immediately think that that's what's going on? You you over here out of commission. Your wife in bed with somebody else. Of course she the one who was trying to take you out or whatever. But yeah, he realizes it wasn't Sam. And then he he said something about uh that little something was in my bed. He knows it's Eli, I'm guessing, because that's the only other person. Well, he don't know yet. So I was like, yeah, she, that's the only person it could be. I seen somebody said that the man that uh the record douche man that Sam knew got his name Manny or whatever. So they were still trying to get information out of him. He said he didn't want to talk to Max. He talked to Bobby. But he said the same thing. I thought he had already said that that uh he had left. But he tells Bobby that Jason was there, but he left. And that's how I wonder if Jason's gonna come back. I feel like he is because the highest clearly knew. He they clearly knew that was the president's son. But they was like, you could go. Uh, and then uh I think he told him if he need anything or something like that. I said, Yeah, he gone back. He either going back or he already there. Antonio finally answered the phone. I said, Look, I'm getting sick of Alonzo over here acting tough and stuff. I said, once they really let me not skip ahead. Antonio finally answered the phone. I said, Y'all ain't got no keywords in case <laughs> you can't warn him. You can't warn him or whatever. He finally answered. But Alonzo, I mean, Antonio could tell something was off because he was like, you okay? Everything okay? Or whatever. But yeah, uh, Alonzo still acted tough. Um, they agreed to meet up. I said, you finna get caught sleeping. You finna get caught. I said, look. And then on the trailer, it, uh, I think they got both of them, Kareem and uh, Antonio. Real fast, did y'all see that Christmas movie with uh, the man that plays Antonio and uh, the lady that plays Danny on Sisters? What's it called? Uh, Never Alone for Christmas or something like that. Yeah, I watched it, y'all. It's on BET Plus. But after saying that, you know, Alonzo acting tough, I said, you know something? He don't realize that he knows too much. He doesn't even realize that he knows too much. Like, they be doing all this extra stuff. And it's like, I know you got to, he trying to fake it till you make it and all this stuff. But after you realize, after they realize you know too much, you out of there too. Just like Agent Kane. Everybody over here just act like they got a, a spot or whatever. And I said, all oh, y'all going down. If they'll take their son down, if Victoria will take her son down, you know she don't care nothing about you. I also said, you know what? <laughs> Not only about Nancy showing up. I said, why don't they have agents on every floor? They ain't no, you don't see them. You don't see them. And I said, don't they supposed to have them all throughout, the, have like guards and stuff all throughout the house? Because you never know. They over here running late after this man don't sit up here and shot how many times? What you running for? It's over with. But after Victoria taunts Allen about Eli, about uh Ellie, I wrote Eli, I meant Ellie. He calls the agents and say he in. And I said, you as good as caught. You as good as caught. I said, why would you go in there? First of all, they already knew what you was doing. They knew who you was talking to and all that stuff. So, you know, they listening to your phone calls. And you don't got caught slipping. You already caught. It's already over with. Why would you? That's, that's what I was talking about in the beginning of this review. I said, they always do that on every show. They go to talking too much. They get caught slipping. Um, they go telling people stuff that they shouldn't be telling them if it's supposed to be a secret or whatever. And this man don't sit up here and tell, call these agents. Tell my son, he in. Tell my son, he in. You caught. <laughs> you caught. Cal, Cal might just be talking to Dale because, you know, he interested in him. But I doubt it. I think he watching him and he trying to, he going to try to get it. Oh, then, not to mention, the agent's supposed to be on the way over to uh, Allen House. So, yeah, they better watch it. I said, mm, mm, mm. Dale getting involved in the wrong stuff. But, yeah, um, Allen ends up telling Dale to get the agent the box and they on the way over there and Cal's there. Yeah, I already know. It's going down. But, um. Uh, I said they be forgetting who these folks are and where they are to be talking like that. Nancy tell Richard she want to apologize. I said, look, Richard mad again, y'all. Y'all knew how long it took him to get over it the first time or whatever. And now I said, so we, you might as well go and get those papers. Then they said that uh, his dad is supposed to be coming. I guess he going to come because ain't he getting close to the mid-season finale? I don't know. His dad, they're probably going to be one of the uh, cliffhangers or whatever. His daddy allegedly supposed to be on season five. I said, oh, my goodness. Nancy finna go crazy. She gonna go crazy over this man. But she be act, she gonna go acting like everything okay, everything sweet to my so she finna get start on dinner. He said, I'm not coming home. He told me he need time. She said, okay. I said, lady, he ain't coming back, but his daddy coming, so I guess she gonna be satisfied with that. <laughs> I wrote down, Richard mad again. Uh, Sam asked Cal why he was accessing Victoria's phone records and everything, so he tell him. He gonna go his behind in there. And started looking up stuff for Donald came. I said, Donald teleport. Then he ran out that office. Then oh, it was right there though. But yeah, he ran. And uh Donald came, he heard him talk about Jason and everything. And I said, mm, mm, mm. 
But that's it, y'all. Let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, this is. Hey y'all, if you're looking for more ways to support me, you can sign up for the DLC Crew Text Club. It's a motivational group. You'll get four encouraging messages per month until the end of December, next December 2024. It's a one-time fee of $10. The link is in the description as well as how you can contact me if you have more questions. Until next time, deuces.